Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. On today's episode, we are actually working on our forklift. This military grade, heavy duty forklift that's been down for a while. We've been reading your comments and you're like, just fix your forklift. So we're like, let's do it. You're right, 100%, we definitely need it. We've needed it before, we're gonna need it in the future. So let's just go ahead and get this thing taken apart. I've never really worked on a forklift before, so it's gonna be a learning curve for sure, but hey, it can't be that bad. You know, we're mechanically inclined. We'll have to figure it out. Basically, the cylinders themselves are leaking hydraulic fluid like crazy, so they have them rebuilt. So our game plan is to try to take off as many as we can. We'll probably have to redo all of them, because we're reading online that basically if one goes out, you replace it, then the others are gonna go out. So it's kind of what happened to us. We replaced one back in the day, but the others are going bad anyway. So we need to go ahead and get these things rebuilt, repacked, resealed, so there's stops leaking. It'll help us with our cab removal and all our engine swaps that we do. And honestly, all those red cars that don't have all four wheels. Be nice to get them going. So let's just look at it, check this thing out, and see what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna start off over here with this little cylinder. Basically, I'm gonna to try to take this bolt off and hopefully this thing will just swing down. And then I could either try to get this whole cylinder out or I could try to unscrew this and then that's where the shaft will come out with all the seals, I think. So we'll have to definitely give it a shot. I know all of my cylinders are leaking, but that's like level three right there. I don't know how to get it off yet. Just kind of figure it out, I guess. I don't know, try to look for the bolts and not get hurt because these things are heavy, <laughs> heavy duty for sure. But hey, one thing at a time, let's start small and work our way up, see what happens. All right guys, so basically I got it unscrewed there, take my pins out, I mean my bolts out here. My pin is not wanting to come out, so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna unscrew the other side and then just try to raise this whole thing and this should drop out and hopefully that'll detach. I hope, but yeah, that thing is not coming out. Been beating on it for a while. It'd be nice if I could just beat it this way, but it hits against the metal backing, so that's not working. Try something else, let's keep going. All right guys, so I was actually unscrewing that side and this side popped out because it basically moved forward. So that's pretty cool that that's loose right there. But before I drop that side, we're actually gonna ratchet it. We got it basically chained down so it doesn't fall forward so we don't destroy the last couple threads of our cylinder. So that'd be good. So we got a big old chain system going on to keep this where it needs to be. Let's go ahead and unscrew it. All right, just like that, it came off. And we are unstrapping it. It is tilting. Which way? Let's move forward. What do you mean? We're done, that's all we need to do. Basically my cylinder's almost out. Okay, so our next step is basically 
that bolt right in there and then there's probably a big old pin holding it together so i'm going to try to get that unbolted and knock the pin out and it should be good to go got dad going at it too nice not even tight There's a little lock right there. Move that out of the way. That's annoying, always annoying. Let me get in there. Whoa, there it goes. Nice, look at that. There's the pin. All right guys, so I got the lines disconnected, looking good. Now it's time to get this thing out. All right, here's one line already. Awesome. Go ahead and get that back one out and just slide this little thing out. Easy. That looks awesome. All right guys, and just like that, the first cylinder is out. Wasn't that bad, only took a little bit, you know, definitely a little bit of time, a little bit of muscles, but I'm surprised, because looking at it first, I was like, man, this thing's kind of complicated, what's going on, how does this thing work, but. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna get the other side off right now too and just keep moving forward. Not so bad. All right, so on the other side, there's a little trap door that we have to take off. Basically, there's some bolts. Go ahead and unscrew them. Um, too bad it's right behind the brake cable line, so it's kind of annoying, but overall, we're gonna get it, no problem. Hopefully, it's the same thing. Unscrew the lines. On this side over here, we went up and put a little cable to it so our lines just don't fall down and disappear into the hole of this. So we got a little cable holding that up. Hopefully the other side is nice and easy to access. About to find out. Yep, and there they are. We can see them. And they don't look too low. Awesome. Go ahead and get that unscrewed. And just like that, got the other side taken off. That cylinder also wasn't too bad. So these guys are the ones that make this whole thing tilt this way and that way. So pretty simple. Just gotta get them repacked. Basically the seals are messed up. I'm gonna get them sent out. I'm not gonna do it myself. There's a company right here locally. I'm gonna go drop them off and I think they have like a 24 hour turnaround or something, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know, with COVID everything's probably different, so we'll see. Let me go ahead and drop these off, and I don't know if I'm gonna even, I don't know what to do with these guys. Man, they're huge. It'd be nice if they could just get them rebuilt right here, just take it off and move it up and then get it rebuilt, the seals. I don't know if I could get all that off. I mean, it's possible. You could do all things, right? I mean, I never worked on a forklift before and got these off, so it wasn't too bad. But I'm gonna take some pictures off and get some recommendations. You know, it's good to have some people with experience to let you know what to do, what not to do. At least point you in the right direction. So let's go ahead and get these dropped off and move forward from there. Let's go ahead and put them in the car and find that local fork cylinder repair place. All right, guys, got the cylinders loaded in my car, ready to go. Let's go ahead and head over to the hydraulic place, store, rebuild, place, kit. All right, got them dropped off. They said it's gonna take a couple days, but it's all good, no big deal, just move on. At least we got some progress. All right, all right, guys, I got my buddy Peter out here from Peter Rebuilt, hydraulic cylinder expert. So he's going at it, and he's saying we might be able to repack it just by taking it off right here. So we're disconnecting our hoses, get our chain off, try to lift it up, get that off, and see what happens without taking the whole cylinder off. That'd be great. Right, Pete? Yeah. Nice. I only can... Case, we'll have to get another here. Yeah. Whole thing. Hopefully not. Hopefully I don't lift the whole thing up, but we'll see. One step at a time. Keeps the oil from going? The inside. That's it? Supposed to be seals inside. A bunch of seals in there. Yeah. Oh, they're all messed up. Yeah.
Nice. Look at that, still sealing. Doesn't even want to come off, it's so tight. <coughs> Probably all the rust on top, right? <laughs> nice. All right, guys, so there's a bunch of seals and O-rings inside of there that are obviously bad. So hopefully just replace those, get it cleaned up, and hopefully our cylinder's not too scarred. We don't need to get it re -croned. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it now. This thing's pretty bad inside, so hopefully this will do it. So we're gonna go ahead and get these resealed. Okay, O-rings changed out, cleaned up, and hopefully that'll do it. Hopefully. All right, so those caps are basically sent off to get resealed. I got some trash bags to put over for now, so temporarily I don't get any water inside my cylinders because water and oil does not mix well. <laughs> don't want that happening, but yeah. Looking good. All right, guys, and just like that, it was a successful day, I would say, going from I have no idea what I'm doing to we got two cylinders off and two caps off to get resealed. And I think our forklift progress is moving forward. So for a while it's down, hopefully soon it'll be back up and operational. But now we gotta wait a couple days for them to come back. But that's all the time for this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and being a part of our Nico brother adventures and the things we gotta do on the shop. You know, stuff breaks, you gotta fix it, just figure it out. You know, it's part of the game, like I said. But thanks guys, catch you next time.